All right, guys. This is my BCBR coil, coil over. Um, I had a blown shock last year. After I changed the shock, I continued to get a clunking sound, almost as if the shock was blown, but without the uh, bouncing. So, even when I did the uh, shock, I made sure the top hat was solid. So, as you can see, it's not easy to push. It's not too easy. Like, it requires a good amount of force, and then it stays. It doesn't just flop around. But, after I installed it, I was still getting a clunk. So, I searched all over YouTube. Everybody's saying, oh, just replace the top hat. But even the shock cost me, like almost $300 Canadian. So I'm not really trying to, you know, customs, shipping, all that, taxes, everything. So I'm not really, really trying to spend that money and get the two front uh, top hats because those things are pretty expensive, right? So almost have to price the coil. Anyway, long story short, I took it apart. This top hat pillow ball itself is fine. But what they don't really explain is that there's a bearing inside here. This bearing, that was my problem. So, if you have BCBR coilovers and you have the, you know, the uh, pillow ball mount, make sure you check both of them. So, I don't know if you can see it. Even when you put it on here, you can see it. So yeah, guys, this bearing is replaceable. It's almost similar to doing a wheel bearing job on a car. You gotta press it out, then you gotta put this insert back in to the new one. And um, yeah. And they say it's good to get one with a uh, weather seal because that's probably the reason that this this went bad. No weather seal, I think, on these. So yeah, guys, here you go.